who shared that message. One day we can go ride with you. In July 2019, a group of passionate motorcycle enthusiasts converged onto Green Park Conondale to participate in the Transmoto Six Hour. These friends were here for a greater cause, and that cause was to ride for Luca. This passionate group of friends have created a bond that will last forever. Let's explore this further. My son uh, was diagnosed with cancer early in the year and it was just turning five and we started going to Hatch's dirt track at the Gold Coast and I never really sort of saw him as a competitive kid but he just loved his motorcycle and he loved racing with other kids and he took to it and so we thought we'd take it a little bit you know, further and we'd sign him up for, for the year and do some, some racing and, a, and really at just a fun level. And we went to the first practice of the year and he was having a great time and probably going a little bit too fast in one section and it wasn't a really high speed crash or anything but he, he had a bit, of a, a bit of a bail on some soft stuff and picked himself up, stood there, waited for me to come over and start his bike. A little did we know at the time but that had literally ruptured the kidney and tumour and that really that was the diagnosis that was the trigger that got us to the diagnosis without that we wouldn't have known and it could have stayed with him for a lot longer so the doctor said he credits uh he credits that little incident and uh the rupture with actually you know potentially saving luca's life because if it had gone on it could have spread and metastasized elsewhere but in a way it was um it was meant to be we're here today for Ride for Luca. We've got a whole group, we've got seven teams together, uh, put together by Ben, Luca's father. And uh, yeah, we're here to support and create an awareness for kids with cancer, and also to raise some funds for the Starlight Foundation and Luca's family as well. We uh, saw Luca was in a bit of trouble in February on Instagram. Ben posted some video of them in hospital um, visiting the oncology ward. So I had a bit of a passion for what was going on. I wanted to know. We had a round of the Sunshine State Motocross Championships on that weekend. So I thought as a gesture, go out, get some of the pro guys' signatures. We made up a board. They all signed it. The whole idea was create something for this kid to make him smile. And um, from that, within 24 hours, Ride for Luca was born. Monday, uh, one of Ben's friends on the uh, down around Byron Bay started to go fund me. Everything came together and we just started the GoFundMe ride for Luca and started fundraising all through social media, all through the moto community and yeah that's where we all started. Um, I actually came across uh, Luca and the Munro family through uh, other friends in the surf industry and the moto industry. I've seen it and I reached out to them and offered to make a couple of surfboards for them to raffle off and you know help raise a little bit of money for the Munro family. as. You know, a lot of costs come with having a sick child in hospital and having to leave them there and you need to move closer to everything like that, to the hospital and whatnot. So I felt like I could, it's just a little, a small, a little thing goes a long way. So I just decided I could easily get some boards together and help and, and help, you know, raffle stuff off to just raise money and hopefully it, it helps out and a little goes a long way. The motorcycle community gets behind people that are, they have a bit of a rough trot. They know that anything, anything can turn around the corner. You know, one minute you're on the bike, the next minute you're laying on the ground and you, you can be severely injured. Same with surfing, mountain biking. You know, one minute you ride that perfect wave, the next minute you're on your back. So this is where people do get behind them. They're, they're very generous. A situation where if someone is down, they can, they can respond. been through a lot a lot but he's really tough and he's shown us all you know that he's been able to um, to stick with the treatment and that was really important to, to stay on schedule he's done countless chemos more than 15 chemo sessions some of them double doses he's had an operation they pulled the kidney out completely so he's only got one kidney left 
and um, he did radiation six days straight and come out the other side of that smiling and he's probably the toughest little boy that I've seen in my life and I'm his father and I'm proud of it and you know but really I, he, he's led the way you know he's shown us how strong he is we'll be whinging and moaning about something and then we'll just think hold on this this boy here has been through such tough time lately that you know if he can do it anyone can do it and he he's doing it really well he's in the best headspace he's ever been in right now we just take each day as it comes you just see these angels appear before you and pick up your arms and carry you through the, the, the tough times and we've been really fortunate that a lot of people have helped us out in one way or another and we've been really proud and, and quite you know, quite humbled by the experience but really proud to be able to um, to pass on some of that generosity and keep the, the karma wheel going and so we've helped out um, uh, childhood cancer support which house all the remote families like ours when they come to Brisbane for, for treatment. I never knew it existed but you know you need a place to stay because your kid's in hospital and all of a sudden someone's offering you keys to a house and you just go how good's this so we donated to them New South Wales Cancer Council who do a fantastic job not only in education but actually supporting patients and we're also the first week we we're in hospital and it was a really tough time and there's another reason why it was so tough for, for, our, for our family with my brother having passed away the week before so it was super super hard and in come these people from the Starlight Foundation you know they just took care of Luca they just they entertained him they they did school work with him they they played with him they brought puppets in they did all this stuff and he had no idea what was going on he just thought he was he knew he was in hospital but he thought he was in for a good time and when we saw that happening and saw the effort they put into that while we were sort of having a little bit of a meltdown and trying to come to terms with it all realizing most of them are volunteers it's an awesome awesome organization and without it i think a lot of families would find it that bit tougher those first early weeks and for the long haul as well like us nine months a year whatever you're in so starlight foundation fantastic and here this weekend you know part of proceeds we're definitely going to be donating to them so you look at you do some cool tricks i can do a split jump and <laughs> to everyone that has ever done anything and it doesn't matter some people have just sent me a text at the right time and people have cooked meals for us and anyone with the heart and with the with a bit of emotion that they've shown for our family is really you know they've, they've pulled us through and with Luca being so strong and being feeling the love and support and then for us to feel so much community support whether it be in the motorcycle community or in Ballin or in Byron and anywhere it's I really want to thank them all and I want to know that I want them to know that every single one of them it was the sum of all parts they all made you know it it easier for us and I I hope no one ever has to go through what we've been through and what Luca does unfortunately they do and so I just I'm grateful for the fact that I know that there are people out there that they'll receive help like we did. So thank you to all of those people. You've really touched us from the bottom of our heart. Thank you. Thank you very much.